Hey everybody, Dr. Turpo here, Black America's Love Doctor, where we talk about uh, love and life and anything in between. So I uh, just wanted to come to you and talk to you today about another issue uh, during this COVID-19 period. Uh, but before we get started, just want to remind you to please uh, like, uh, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like these videos. Okay, so today let's talk about during this pandemic time and COVID-19, how to function in your house while we're sitting here quarantined with each other. How do we function in this house with everybody under the same roof? People are not in school, kids are back home from college, and everybody's up on top of each other. So how do we function? What's a good way to operate and keep things moving along uh, in a way as we're together in this house together? So I want to share three different tips for you, uh, three different uh, things that we need to focus on to be able to uh, get along in our, our households together. Number one, we need to get organized, okay? It is extremely, extremely hard to try to get anything done and be productive when people are interrupting you. You're trying to have conversations, you're trying to have that Zoom meeting or what have you, and people are just interrupting, they're making noises in the background, you're trying to get your kids homeschooled and you got dinner you're trying to work on and other all these interruptions so we have to get organizing because these these interruptions and things not working smoothly uh, that increases stress <clears throat> in your life like we're not stressed enough as it is and it also decreases productivity so we need to the way we get organized is we need to compartmentalize we need to segregate our time segregate our spaces uh, with each other so you need to do both segregate time you need to put together a schedule certain times that you're going to do this with the kids certain times you're going to do this for you certain times that you're going to do this for your job that you're trying to work on um, at home and you need a certain time so at, at any time now now is the time that you have to be organized and you have to get a schedule and really work things out so you can get some handle on chaos if you never needed to if you, well i'm not an organizer i'm not a scheduler Now's the time to be an organizer and a scheduler. You won't get anything done. So we really need to compartmentalize. You also not only need to organize and compartmentalize your uh, time, but you also need to organize and compartmentalize your space. Uh, depending on how much space you have, you need to really say, okay, well, this is my space where I will work and get my work done. And you all need to make sure that I have that space. Don't disturb me in this space. The kids need to have their space where they do their work. You need to have your space where you do your work. So if you're limited in space, then you need to put a schedule again, who gets that space at what time. So uh, you need to do that. If you have enough space, then everybody gets their own little section. I have my little work area in my office. My wife has her work area. My daughter has, his work, has her work area. And my son has his work area. So we all have our spaces where we go to when we have to get our work done. So again, you have to compartmentalize, segregate those times and those spaces and get organized. Don't try to converge things and everybody try to work in the same space when they're trying to work together. Don't try to do things at the same time, okay? If you're in the same space, or don't try to do things at the same time. Don't try to watch the kids and do your work at the same time. I learned a long time ago uh, when I had young ones, that my kids are grown now and they're adults. Uh, when my wife would leave me with the kids, I said, you know what? I'm gonna watch the kids. They were little ones uh, in diapers and all that. I said I was gonna watch the kids and I was gonna try to get my work done at the same time that shit didn't work it wasn't a good idea it just left me frustrated and i was frustrated because i get, wasn't getting my work done i was being interrupted by the kids and who did i take it out on i took it out on the kids unnecessarily so so i, I just learned that if i just say you know what when i'm watching the kids i'm just going to watch the kids i'm not going to try to get my work done also in addition to watching the kids and once i did that once i just resigned myself that i'm just going to watch the kids and be all in on the kids then I wasn't frustrated. We had good quality time, uh, enjoyed being with the kids. So don't try to do things at the same time. You need to compartmentalize those times and don't try to do it all at the same time. And then when you're trying to be productive, when it's time for you to be productive, then don't watch the kids. Trade off, trade off. Say, hey, can you watch the kids while I do my work? I'll watch the kids when you do your work. Kind of, it's a tag team effort. So you really need to get organized. You know, if you're not an organizer, a scheduler, you need to become an organizer and a scheduler, especially, especially during these times. Also, the number two thing we can do is take advantage of this is to connect with your family now. Physical distancing is painful for people. Human beings are social animals. 
fortunately, if you have family, and the bright side, even though they may get on your nerves and irritate you, the bright side is that you have like a built-in social system, social network. So uh, take the time, take, adopt the old fashioned family time. Eat your meals together because a lot of people are cooking at home now. Don't let people just go off and sit in their rooms or in front of the TV. Actually sit down at the dinner table and have a meal together, at least one meal together, okay, on, on a day. Now, when, uh, when we weren't in the COVID-19 and the kids were home, we tried to have at least one meal a week where it was family time. And anytime that anybody, when it, anytime we had a meal and somebody was home, you had to be at the dinner table. You couldn't take your plate away to another room in front of the TV or your bedroom. Sit down and spend that quality time. We had a rule in our household, no phones at the table, television can't be on, okay, no laptops. I, I, they, they catch me on my own rule and they say, Dad, you got your phone. And I had to put it down because we need to take advantage of this time to connect with family. So, you know, we need to be together during this time, not just be in the household, but be present and connected and take advantage and make the positive things. A lot of people are really, I'm talking to people, people are saying they're really enjoying, they're getting to connect with their family now. If you had in the right mind frame, instead of saying, okay, I'm irritated by it, just say, I'm gonna enjoy these times. It's the bright side. It's a stressful time, it's an anxious time, but the bright side is, it's kind of gives us an opportunity to really connect with our family. So if you're gonna be in the household, don't disconnect by being on these screens, on these screens all the time. And the third thing that we can do is just embrace being at home. Okay, you know, usually everybody's on the go. Everybody's got somewhere to go, got somewhere to be. Busy, 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 busy. And this is unsettling, having to be home, this is unsettling for a lot of people because they're not used to it. But again, if we embrace and make the best out of it, we can do a lot of things, such as take care of ourselves. A lot of people now are getting more sleep when that's a good thing. Take care of yourself, get more sleep. I'm getting more sleep, I'm feeling more rested. Take the time to work out. You've been wanting to work out, now's the time to get your good workout exercise regimen going. So just take care of yourself mentally, physically, take on a new project. A lot of people are taking on new projects. Um, it is, legend has it that Shakespeare wrote a couple of his plays actually during a quarantine. So you need to, people, a lot of pro, uh, productivity happens if you notice during these quarantine periods, that project that you always wanted to do, that cleaning out the closet or the project at home or other creative projects, that YouTube channel, that book you wanted to write or anything that you wanted to do, you've been saying, now you have the time, no excuses, go ahead and start taking advantage of that and take on a, on a project. So keep in mind during this time, folks, the big picture. By staying at home and quarantining, we're not only protecting our family, you're protecting yourself, really, and your kids, your family, you're protecting other people too, okay? People who you may be asymptomatic and you actually may be infected, but don't know it. And if you go out there and infect someone else, then you're not being helpful. So stay at home uh, until we get through this thing. It's gonna uh, be a while. And just really, I would say that you need to stay at home, pay attention to science. Do not pay attention to your government leaders who ignore science. You don't trust a leader that you can't, that is ignorant and don't trust a leader that is not paying attention to science. Be that a, a leader on the national level, such as Donald Trump and a leader in my state, Governor Kemp, Brian Kemp, who they're ignoring science and they're more worried about money than they are people's health. So I would not trust leaders like that. I don't trust leaders like that. And I'm gonna recommend that you don't trust leaders like that either. Think for yourself follow the science, and do what's best for you and the community, okay? So stay safe and take care of each other. Harmonious wishes.